As tributes to Margaret Thatcher flooded in from all over the globe after her passing Monday, widespread condemnation of her legacy proved her ability to polarize opinion until the end. Just hours after the announcement of the former British Prime Minister's death, several street celebrations were recorded in the United Kingdom. Margaret Thatcher's death was caused to celebrate the thousands in Britain who recall her rule as the main reason for social unrest in the 1980s. Videos and pictures of street parties quickly spread on the internet as opposers to the Iron Lady used social media to arrange celebrations. The Daily Mirror reports that more than 300 people gathered to celebrate in the city centre of Glasgow, while over 100 took part in a street party in Brixton in South London. The former conservative leader, who ruled the UK from 1979 to 1990, had a knack of making controversial calls that divided people in Britain and around the globe. According to a writer from Sky News, those included her hard line against minors, withdrawal of free milk for school children, her description of Nelson Mandela as a terrorist, her backing of dictators like Pol Pot and Augusto Pinochet, and her actions in the Falklands War. Everything she stood for, I'm opposed to. And I'm proud to be with people that come out here and say, I am celebrating, yeah. She started the, um, the whole neoliberal madness. The thousands of people sharing their opinions on the streets were only a small part of the post-mortem outrage against Baroness Thatcher, as social media was also flooded with reactions. On Twitter, George Galloway, a respected member of Parliament and former Labour firebrand, led the way by tweeting, Tramp the Dirt Down, a reference to a 1988 Elvis Costello song of the same name that highly criticized Thatcher. On Amazon, both Ella Fitzgerald and Judy Garland's versions of Ding Dong, The Witch is Dead made the list of the 20 most downloaded songs after a Facebook group started lobbying for the song as a number one hit. And on the site is thatcherdeadyet.co.uk, which was created back in 2010 and has 220,000 likes. The text was updated Monday, now saying, yes, Margaret Thatcher is dead. This lady's not returning. How are you celebrating? Not surprisingly, the happy remarks made several news outlets question whether it's okay to celebrate the death of a statesman. Many agreed it has gone too far. As a writer from The Telegraph put it, the trendy left-wing gadflies celebrating Margaret Thatcher's death would probably be rotting in the gulag if it wasn't for the Iron Lady. Margaret Thatcher died in the Ritz Hotel in London Monday morning after suffering a stroke. She was 87 years old. For Newsy, I'm Christian Bryant. Multiple sources, a broader view.